Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. Mickey D. Today we are going to go to the container yard and we are going to go ahead and take on... <laughs> Did you see the stutter step? What was that all about? Just like, jeez, my computer... Computer controller's just flipping out, man. We're going to go to the container yard. We're going to go fight some challenge monsters. Some badasses. Guys are some of the toughest monsters in the game. If not, they're definitely the toughest monsters. But I don't want to say that they're like more tough than the final boss. I don't know, I don't know about that. But you want to come in here prepared. So this is the setup that I got going right now. <clears throat> I got the speed boots on Ryu. I got a thunder ring also. That's very important. His armor is nothing specifically because it just kind of weighs him down right now. And armor is not going to be very helpful with the monster that I'm going to be fighting. So got a uh, Tiger's Cap and Spike Gauntlets because they raise power. And um, right now I want as much power as I can get. I'm also thinking about possibly going to the Damascus Sword. Uh, but I'm going to try to do this as a tutorial for you guys. As in uh, an instructional on how to take these guys out. And most likely you'll have the Royal Sword as well. So I'll just go ahead and use that. Um, that being said, Ray, he, it's really, he's kind of irrelevant in this. He plays more of a support role in this fight, so you don't really need to worry about him. If he gets hit, he's gonna get one shot KO'd anyways. Gar, on the other hand, is a little bit different. He's kind of optimized for both power and defense. Titan belts just for good measures there. And I went over skills last time, but I'll go over them again here just briefly. Um, two of the important things that you want to have with Ryu are focus and aura. Go over that in just a little while, but um, in his dragon transformation, you're going to be using these skills. That's why you want them. Uh, Ray, irrelevant. It's kind of just set up for the next dungeon that we go to. Uh, and Gar is going to have. It's not mandatory, but it helps. Last Resort, Shadow Walk, just in case. Uh, and as far as items go, you can never go wrong if you have a couple of multivitamins, some Wisdom Fruits. Wisdom Fruits are kind of like, like I said, they're not mandatory, but they help out a lot, just in case. Um, but you definitely need, in my opinion, Robe of Wind. This is pretty important. You gotta pick this up. Um, you can pick it up over at Steel Beach if you. This is a long time ago, but um, where you fought the angler, it's in a hidden chest, in a, tucked away in a corner. But it's pretty, pretty big to have. Um, so we're gonna go over here to the container yard, and there are three monsters you can fight here. And I just, I know that I just, god damn it, I came in here with the wrong, wrong. Uh, formation and that sometimes screws up the RNG uh, of how the enemies are encountered so I'm gonna leave I know that sounds crazy but believe me I've tested this out like, like a lot <laughs> more than I would have wanted to so I'm gonna go to attack formation put Ryu in there Gar is gonna be at spot three there's something weird about how the container yard works with encounters and Gar. It just does not like... There's something weird with the sprite. He's just so big and bulky. Anyway, I, I know that's like conjecture. Or it's like, what are you guys talking about, Mickey? But what I'm saying is, if you have troubles running in to one of the challenge monsters here, which are called the Archmage or the Berserker, um... Sometimes it's not your fault. Sometimes it's just the fact that the game is bugging out because of cars in your party. So I'm going to take a little bit of time here. It's a 1 in 16 chance to run into this guy. I'm looking for the Archmage specifically. I like to go in this room to try and, to try and meet up with him. But uh, right now I'm just fighting tank bots. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just off screen meeting the Archmage. So we can go ahead and... and uh, and kill this challenge monster. <laughs> Alright, so, well, let's see if this is him. I doubt it. Highly doubt it. Yeah, didn't think so. Alright. Go ahead and fast forward here. Oh, 
Oh my god. We finally ran into him. Everybody. The man, the myth, motherfucking legend. God. Took me seriously, guys? Because I'm pretty positive my game bugged out. That took like 40 minutes to run into this fucking prick. The Arc Mage. Jesus, here he is. <laughs> Shit. He's got 3000 HP, he's got 80 agility. I want my agility around like 68, 70, right around there. 65 is pretty good too. Um, so that I can possibly get an EX turn once I turn into a dragon. But what I'm gonna do for now, is I'm just gonna kind of go over, uh, I'm gonna just do some stealing. Um, I wanna show you what Archmage is all about here. <clears throat> go ahead and just, I'm so fatigued after just trying to run into this asshole. <laughs> So what this guy does, Archmage, like I said, he's got 3,000 HP, and that was a sharp noise, jeez. Because, nice, so you can steal a soul gem from him, and he also drops, uh, Ree's best weapon, so that's, uh, that's pretty good too. What he does is he casts two spells. He casts Mjolnir, which is exactly why we have the Thunder Ring. And he also casts Mind Sword, which is pretty much an instant death attack. Uh, not instant death. It kills anyone that it hits because his intelligence is so high. Well, the reason why I'm letting him kick the shit out of me is because I wanted to show you guys what happens when he kills two members of your party. He switches his script, he switches his AI. And the next spell that he casts, you'll see, is Benediction. And he casts Benediction on our party, and what that does is that it revives your party. So, in theory, you should never be able to actually game over and lose the Archmage. So, what I'm trying to say is... Okay, it, to win this fight, you just need to prepare yourself. You also see throughout the match, that throughout the battle that you've been seeing, um, he regenerates 1500 HP every turn. So, what do you do? How do you beat this guy? Well, you essentially gotta do 3000 damage in one turn. How you do that is you just... <laughs> you get that power stat from 310, to 999, and then you go even further than that. <laughs> um, so here's my strategy. Okay, alright, let's take this asshole out. So, here's what you're gonna do. I may, I'm making this strategy, by the way, this tutorial, as if you could do this yourself. Because you're not gonna have the exact same stats as me, but you're gonna be able to emulate the strategy that I do, uh, that I'm taking here, to suit yourself. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna come become essentially the strongest dragon in the game, which I haven't shown off yet. We're gonna use the Infinity Gene, the Radiance Gene, and the Trance Gene, IRT. And that's gonna turn us into, um, let's see, oh yeah, with Re, what we're gonna do, it's gonna turn us into the Kaiser Dragon, you'll see in a little bit. With Re, what we're gonna do is we're going to preemptively cast an Ammonia on Ryu. This may not make sense, but Archmage is super fast. He's got 80 agility, so he's gonna go first. If he casts Mind Sword on Ryu, well, we wanna be able to, we wanna be able to revive Ryu as soon as possible, because then with Gar, what we're going to do is we're gonna use the Robe of Wind, which casts speed. So, if he dies, Ray goes ahead, revives him, and Gar then casts speed on him, which will give Ryu the ability to outturn the Archmage once he, he actually gets his turn. He'll go from 68 agility to, what's 68 plus 34? Like, uh, 102, right? Something like that? Sounds about right. Anyway, that's the strategy. Now let's see what happens. 
So instead, Archmage casts Mjolnir on Rey, kills him. Which is not a bad outcome for us, by the way. We get a free dragon transformation, and we get speed on our dragon transformation, which should give us an EX turn. Doesn't give us an EX turn. That kind of breaks my heart. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and use Focus, and with Gar, we're going to use Last Resort. Now, what's so good about the IR Kazer, IRT Kazer, is that it gives a huge defense boost and HP boost. I mean, a huge boost in power as well, it's just everything, really. But it's one of the only Dragon Transformations that gives a huge boost in both defense and power, without having to lack for, um, or defense and HP, without lacking in, like, agility and power. See, as you'll see there, he can survive the, uh, the Mind Sword. <clears throat> also, you saw that Ryu went first, which means that he can go ahead and actually heal himself, because in the IRT, in the Kazer form that you can control, he, you get access to all of his skills. All of his skills and all of his regular uh, assist spells and healing spells. So he can go ahead and restore himself as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use Restore because if I get hit with another uh, Myeliner or um, if I get hit with a Mind Sword, then I'm dead. And Gar is going to go ahead and try to cast Speed. Now, you know, Archmage could kill Gar, could end up fruitless. If, if so, that's okay. Ryu still heals himself, and we still have a healthy Kazer. So there's that. The one problem with this is that... Uh, I don't think that was enough HP healed, but it's fine. The one problem with this is that this is really, really AP heavy. You know, I, I'm using a lot of ability points here just to... Uh, just to keep keep um, Ryu alive and and keep him in this dragon formation. So I'm gonna I I gotta fat focus one more time here just for good measure because I think I think something offset like when I use restore or something like that I think that offsets uh, the focus. Uh, I mean it might or might not who knows. I know for a fact, last resort, the guard is still in place. Like I said, you could be using this yourself. Um, I'm gonna use a multivitamin. Hopefully, Ryu doesn't die. If so, I'm just gonna be like, oh my god, I'm gonna be pissed. Um, should I use a multivitamin? I should use a wisdom fruit. Wisdom fruit right now because his AP is getting low. Hopefully, he doesn't die. God, if he dies, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, we got lucky. My owner doesn't really kill him, so that's good. So now we've focused twice, and we're gonna go ahead and begin our assault now. And actually, I'm not gonna begin it yet, because if you notice, Archmage heals right after that EX turn. He'll heal right there. So what we want is we want to be able to hit Aura now, and then if he survives this Aura, we can go ahead and hit him on our EX turn. Granted, we're gonna need to survive, which, uh, you know, looking right now is just not the best. However, we also have the ability to take him out, possibly get lucky, and take him out just with one hit. So we're gonna use the Aura right now to do a lot of damage, we did last resort, so we pretty much added our defense to our strength. 259 there. So he's got a ton of power. So we're gonna go ahead and perform the shadow walk, and hopefully, guys, this, this kills him. Oh god, yeah, that's a good hit. I mean, that almost killed him right then and there with, with 3,000 damage. So, he goes ahead and kills Gar instead, and he only has, like, 70 more hit points left, so might as well just attack, and we are good. So that is the Archmage. 
God, 48,000 HP. That's, er, experience. That's, that's a lot of experience right there. Just gained two levels. <laughs> God. It's ridiculous. Look at that power increase. Oh my God. It's retarded. We also get the Holy Avenger, which is awesome. Um, the Holy Avenger is Ray's best weapon. Huge power increase, divine strength, and it also comes with, like, this thing called Devil Killer, Devil Slayer, which, um, basically you do more damage to devil-type enemies, which, uh, that's pretty nice, too, which we're gonna run into a couple later on. So that's awesome. That is one of the ways to kill the Archmage, and I'm actually gonna show one more way, and it's the cheap way, and, uh, yeah, because I want to get another Holy Avenger. So if you didn't like that way, here's another way how to kill him. Alright, so here we are, we got another Archmage, and my party is beaten and tattered since the last battle. That's okay. This is the setup that I'm going to use. I now have two speed boots, and since I leveled up twice, I actually have incredible agility. I have 83 agility, which makes me faster, actually, than the Archmage. I also got 326 power, which is pretty phenomenal. Really, really strong. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to use one of the items. This is the cheap way, by the way, to take out the Archmage, just in case I didn't already say that. We're gonna use one of the items that is uh, part of what my favorite Let's Player, his name is H.C. Bailey, he calls these items the Too Good to Use Club. That's they're the Too Good to Use. Uh, club, and that's the hourglass. It stops all but user for three turns. So because I'm faster than the Archmage at 83 agility, well, basically Ryu goes first. So Ryu goes first, and he's going to use the the hourglass, which is going to stop time or stop everybody else for three turns. It doesn't matter what these guys do. What? What the hell? How does he even go? Why, why the hell is he even going before me? Son of a bitch. Like, you have a plan, it's supposed to work out the way that it's supposed to work, but no. No, of course not. No, it doesn't ever work the way that you're supposed to work. No. It doesn't make any sense as to how he even went. I'm gonna use two ammonias because one of these assholes is gonna die. So, for instance, if target Ray, then Gar would have go ahead and use the ammonia and... God, son of a bitch. How, did, how the hell is this guy going faster than me? I have faster agility, right? Sometimes that happens in Breath of Fire 3, though. Very rarely. I'm pretty positive, like right now, for instance, I'll go first. But every once in a while, sometimes, the monster... The enemy will still go first, even though you have higher agility. It doesn't make any sense to me. But, shit, we'll try it again. <laughs> and we're gonna cast a preemptive ammonia, just in case the Archmage kills Ryu again. There we go. <laughs> now it's working the way we wanted it to. It's weird. Why, why, uh, I didn't go first, and he did, but... Oh, that's life, I guess. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn turn into our dragon. We're gonna use another formation that I don't think I've shown off yet. Force and Trance. It's a really, really powerful dragon. It's actually the most powerful dragon, I believe. It amplifies your attack times three. So, it's pretty extravagant, really. And now we're gonna go ahead and just Bore the shit out of him because with our attack being so high, we we have huge we just have such huge attack. We can go ahead and bore it twice in a row. Time is still stopped if you remember. I don't know if I have enough power to kill him. I don't think it will kill him. So there's that. But the fact of the matter is, uh, see. 
heals him. Damn. I don't know. This is this is a little bit messy. Uh, I don't know if this is going to kill him. Pretty positive it's not. Where did I fuck up here? Hmm. I don't know. This is... This is dicey, guys. <laughs> this is really, really dicey. I don't think Ray can take him out. That would be ridiculous if he did. <laughs> of course he did. So it doesn't always work out <laughs> the way that it did there. That was, uh, like I said, that was very, very messy, and it doesn't normally work like that. If you're gonna go ahead and use that route, <laughs> I would suggest boosting your power as much as possible there. I obviously didn't boost mine high enough. I'd say that a better route would be to go ahead and <coughs> be like, use the Titan Belt and, and you know, still go ahead and uh, use Myrmidon. But um, essentially, just boost my power as much as possible so that I could get more mileage out of those auras. Some more damage from it. Anyways, that takes care of the Archmage. I hope that kind of gives you a rundown of how to take him out. Um, I'm gonna go and use a camp because uh, look at this. Man, these, these damn challenge monsters, they just fucked my team up. So I'm going to go ahead and take a rest. I'm actually going to go use the inn. I'm going to save up. And I am thinking that next time we're going to go ahead and take on the second challenge monster. So hopefully you guys will look forward to that. But aside from that, I'm going to sign off for now. And uh, hopefully you learn something about how to take care of uh, these pesky little arc mages now. But anyways, guys, thanks for checking me out. I hope you liked it and catch you around.